Welcome back. This is the, I've lost count, the third or the fourth in a series of demos on some ray tracing software for fascinating design. And we're looking at the triple design here, and you can see it's tilting 30 degrees in either direction. I'm going to talk some about the tilt in Gemray. There's a control here to change the tilt geometry and um, axis of rotation elevation. There's really two settings that are most useful. Uh, zero. If you type in zero, that gets you back to the auto setting, which what we just looked at. 45 degrees uh, is a. If you change that to 45 degrees, let me just show you what that does first. The stone is tilted 45 degrees, but we're also and placed on a turntable and it rotates but we're also tilting the camera down or up at a elevation of 45 degrees so we're looking perpendicular on the table whenever it rotates past us the amount of rotation uh, is how far Jim Ray rotates the stone in each direction so if I change that to 90 it will start us off with the stone with the turntable rotated 90 degrees and just for reference if I change this back to zero for auto you can see that The stone is tilting 90 degrees in either direction. It's also useful to sometimes, if you want to figure out, see what the stone looks like, you could put in the maximum value here, which is 180, and that'll rotate the, the stone full circle. You can see the tooltip there for that in the little square. So if you ever enter 180, Jim Ray knows that uh, the tilt plus 180 is the same as minus 180, so it just does a full rotation. There we go, there's the stone rotating full circle. show you what that's what uh, if I put this back to, to zero for the auto setting it's gonna rotate this stone full circle in the in the tilt direction again whenever you do a 360 degree uh, put in 180 you'll get a 360 de degree rotation Jim Ray always rotates the stone in increments of one degree, and that's, that's not controllable as of yet. I may make that an option later. So you can see that when the stone is upside down, you can see right through it. And let me go back to the default 30 degree rotation. I'm just going to close this and quickly show you uh, how Jim Ray rotates the stone according to the symmetry of the stone. If you, you if there's an oval design, let me just bring up a should have a omni oval here. You can just drag, if you have a design on the desktop, you can just drag it into the Jim Ray icon and it will calculate right away. If you have a stone that has two-fold mirror image symmetry like a oval or a rectangle then Jim Ray will tilt it to the north and to the east.
if you have a pear-shaped design or a shield or something with one-fold mirror image symmetry, then uh, Jim Ray will tilt it just to the north and to the south. And it does the same thing with triangles. If you have a design that has fourfold mirror image symmetry, like a square design or a square cushion, Jim Ray will rotate the stone to the north and then to the southeast. And the same is true if you have a design like a round brilliant that has something that has a multiple of fourfold symmetry, like eightfold mirror image symmetry. It'll tilt it to the north and to the southeast. With that, the southeast tilt by the symmetry is the same as the north tilt. Doesn't give you much more information, but it treats it just like it does a square. So that's pretty much all of the tilting thing. Let me stop there and we'll continue on in our next next lesson.